Hey everybody, how you doing today? I recently got asked a question uh, from a uh, follower on Google Plus by the name of Jimmy Neutron. Uh, he asked me uh, if I could do a video uh, showing how to sharp sharpen a can opener on a multi-tool. Um, there's a couple different styles of multi-tool can openers. Um, you see the more common one that you'll see here uh, with the bevel on one side and then just pl basically a flat on the other. Um, the more complicated <laughs> ones that you'll find are like this uh, Swiss Army one here uh, with a more, I don't know, intricate design. Um, the one I think he's talking about is more like this one here. Uh, he said it's on his Leatherman uh, sidekick, I believe. And uh, if you don't use your can opener much, uh, you really wouldn't need to sharpen it. But if you do use it, uh, you'll definitely need to sharpen it. Um, this one here is still uh, serviceable. So I'm just going to deservice it here and uh, just make it like it's been used a few times. Because I want to give this uh, an... Uh, fair and actual uh, trial and sharpening. Um, you can see there, maybe that's not good enough. You can see here I'm trying to hit the corners of this sharpening stone uh, just to put uh, gouges into the actual blade itself. Um, that's the sort of stuff you see on a can opener that hasn't been sharpened or maintained. So, <laughs> so yeah, this thing looks gnarled now. Um, see if I can give you a close-up of this. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that. It's definitely blunted. It's not really sharp at all. It actually feels very gritty to my finger. Um, so yeah, once your can opener is this dull, um, it still will kind of open cans, but it'll be less safe, and uh, that's really not a good thing. So to sharpen one of these, um, if you have a Spyderco sharp maker, do is take a couple uh, CD cases and uh, put it under the side that the actual bevel is on the can opener. Um, you're, the reason you're putting a few CD cases or something just to lift that up is to increase the angle on this stone. Uh, you'll need a marker also. Um, what you do is you'll just uh, color in that one side of the bevel. And uh, through a little bit of trial and error, you're going to have to place um, something under the sharp maker to raise this angle. Um, show you the marker on there now so I'm just gonna hold this straight up and down and give it a, a couple passes and that'll show you where the actual uh, stone is taking off metal from if uh, you're left with black near the edge and I'll just demonstrate this if I just finished that and I was left with a little bit of black here on the edge, I would know I'd have to increase this more. And uh, if it was really only taking off just the tiniest bit near the actual apex, if my hand's steady enough to show this, to where it was only removing that little shiny bit on the edge, you'd know you'd have to decrease this. Um, for if you have a sharp maker like this, that would basically be it until you would reach uh, an apex on this. And you're really not looking for something that's going to cut paper. Uh, that's really not necessary in my experience. Uh, all you're really looking for is to take out all the chips, nicks, rolls, and so that you don't see really any light shining back on your edge. So I'm just going to give this a few passes like you see and uh, maintaining the angle isn't as important as if you're sharpening a knife uh, just because you're not looking for that extremely apexed edge. So just with a few passes on that, 
I could already tell I'm pretty close to getting this back. If uh, your can opener was like extremely uh, dinged in and uh, rolled over, it, it would just take a little bit more time with this process here. Um, if you wanted to maybe sharpen it in less time, I'd suggest uh, sharpening it on the original bevel like you see I was doing here. But then once uh, you figure you have that enough sharpened, but it's still not sharp enough, you'd go back and put a smaller bevel on this edge. So what you do for that is flip this thing around and leaving it just flat now, go back and uh, put a couple swipes up and down. Doing this will uh, almost guarantee bringing your can opener back to life because um, a lot of can openers, like I said at the start, um, only have the bevel on one side. Just give this a few more up and down. Let me look off this off camera. And I'd say that's pretty good. The tip is nice and pointy and sharp. I got all the uh, nicks and scratches out. So that's pretty much how you do it with the Spyderco Sharp Maker. Um, like I said in the beginning, you're not looking for a, a razor edge. You're just looking to clean up any nicks, dings, rolls, folds, anything in there. And then uh, you're looking to uh, maybe straighten out the tip or make it pointier. Um, if your tip was a little bit uh, screwed up, um, all you'd really need to do is take a flat stone or one of your sharp maker stones and uh, just put your tip to the stone on the, on the back side here and just maybe reprofile it. It does make a god-awful sound, <laughs> but uh, this will make your tip uh, pointier. And uh, it won't, won't need much. I don't know if that comes across how actual pointy that became. So basically the two things you're looking for is, is a pointy tip and uh, a consistent edge without like major chips in it. Um, if you look down your edge like this, you, you shouldn't see any light shining back at you. Um, if you do, continue with that same process of either with the Spyderco Sharp Maker or uh, the CD case or whatever have you uh, with it elevated like this and uh, that'll give you the angle you're looking for. Um, if you're just doing it freehand, uh, take some marker and put it on your edge and uh, put it on the stone and just give a couple light passes. Um, that'll show you where uh, your actual angle is hitting. So you'll know either to adjust it steeper or more shallow. And uh, like I said in the starting of the video, if you want to cut out time from sharpening one of these, um, sharpen it all the way on that original bevel and then come back on the reverse side and give it a couple quick passes. Um, that'll guarantee you uh, getting uh, the, the sharpest uh, you can from a uh, can opener like this without actually getting it to where it's too sharp. Um, too sharp and you'll risk causing too much damage too soon. Um, but with a can opener like this, uh, it, it'll very easily open up a can um, with very little pressure and that's pretty much what you're looking for. Um, a nice controlled opening that uh, doesn't jump or skip on you. Uh, last thing you want to do, because when you're using a can opener like this, you're usually out in the bush, right? So the last thing you want is something that's dangerous or that might hurt you when you're uh, trying to actually feed yourself. <laughs> but you see here that it actually does the job quite well. And uh, 
to be honest, I don't really use these too much, so. So, I hope this helps, uh, Mr. Neutron, and uh, if not, uh, give me another message, I'll, I'll be happy to help. Um, I'm going to go make some soup. Um, stay tuned for more, guys, and uh, have a nice day.